The partial government shutdown enters its 13th day as the impasse over Trump's demand for $5 billion in border wall funding shows little signs of progress. Democratic leaders said Wednesday they had a plan for reopening the government while creating a 30-day period for further negotiations on border security. Incoming House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says the plan does not include border wall funding. Trump reportedly told Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer that he would look foolish if he agreed to the deal. This is Speaker Pelosi speaking to reporters in front of the White House yesterday. Tomorrow, we will bring to the floor legislation which will open up government. It will be based on actions taken by the Republican Senate. Uh, bills that have passed on the floor of the Senate by over 90 votes and or in committee uh, unanimously, uh, led by Senator Mitch McConnell. Our question to the president and to the Republicans is, why don't you accept what you have already done to open up government? And that enables us to have 30 days to negotiate for border security. People have been sharing the effects of the shutdown on their lives using the hashtag ShutdownStories. Testimonies range from the inability to pay bills, rent, to purchasing essential medicines and even food. Meanwhile, Native American communities are also feeling the effects of the government shutdown, as a disproportionate number rely on federally funded services, including for health care and food. Many Native Americans are also employed by the government. In the southwest United States, some members of the Navajo Nation have been stuck at home, unable to drive to get to groceries and other essentials, as roads are not being cleared of snow. Overall, nearly a million workers are working without pay or are furloughed.